a time of marvels, a culture of industry, an era of technology. Then, in the blink of an eye, the greatest nations of the world were plunged into darkness. But underneath all the anarchy and chaos lies the wonders of the world before, just waiting to be discovered by our stalwart heroes, Jules McCaffrey and his partner Quinn. Join them as they scour the ruins of yesterday, brave the dangers of today, all to find the key to a brighter future in the dark lands of the world before. Today's episode, Wolf at Your Door, Part 1. Hey, Dark Lambda. You buying, or are you just gonna stare at it? I've got other customers. Your sign says you sell pork, but I didn't. St- Duh. I'm not stupid enough to try raising pigs in this fugly ridden rat hole. I get the meat from my uncle's farm out in the Dust Bowl. But your sign also said it was fresh. The Dust Bowl is a week's journey from. You know what? Guard! I- I'm sorry, I'll just. You're not going anywhere. Who do you think you are? He is the guy who may be shutting down your little town if you don't play nicely. Which would be a shame. The idea of making a parking garage into a colony is inspired. (laughs) Even if the inspiration came from Garage Town. Watch it, Scrapper. What did you mean about this little worm shutting us down? Squiggle here is the writer, publisher, and distributor of The Dark Times, the Darklands' most famous newspaper. Never heard of it. Well, every Darklander in the Republic has, and if word gets around that the town of Garage is a... What did you write there? Oh gosh, no. McCaffrey? A den of Sweeney's. I imagine every single one of them would steer far clear of this place, which means your trade, gone. (laughs) I really like this headline too, Squiggle. A little pork or long pig? Imagine what would happen if this reached the Wonderkin, or even the Guild of Gary. Their paladins would just... It's Raccoon! Just Raccoon! My uncle lives in Rancho Arenosa. He raises them. But no one gives good trade for raccoon meat. And we give no trade for lies. Please, you can't post that article. Garage may be a cesspool, but they don't ask questions. If you expose me, I'll be ruined. Here, here, take all the tricky I have. That'll do. We'll be off then. Here's your notes back, Squiggle. Thank you for your custom... Why do you always have to aggravate things, McCaffrey? I don't like con artists. And she was being mean to you. But you just conned her out of her jerky. You know no one reads the Dark Times. I do. That expose you did on the mayor of Appletown? Brilliant. So what are you doing here, McCaffrey? Last time I heard you were heading for Vegas. What is this, an interview? You'll need to get me a drink if I'm gonna do an exclusive. And when did you get a rabbit? Make that two drinks. <sighs> Let's head to the top floor. Oh boy, that's strong. They call it sewer water. Where do these colonists get their drink names? <laughs> you must have went to see Guillermo on your way back. Very inquisitive of you. Can you answer my question now? Well, Vegas turned out to be a bust. Nothing but crazy bots and cheap loot. The only thing that made the trip worthwhile was a couple of bottles of Corleone wine I found in a decrepit house. Oh, those would have aged beautifully. What do you want for one? Sorry, they're gone now. One went to Malice and Barriston, and the other paid for this little guy. No offense, but top shelf wine from the world before for a rabbit sounds like a raw trade. Be nice, Squiggle. You don't have a lot of friends out here. Sorry. So, if... Vegas was a bust. Why come back to the valley? Lawrence told me you went on a two-hour rant about how terrible the valley is. How there's nothing here but grumpy colonists and fuglies, but... How there's no decent... You got a lead. Very inquisitive of you. Well, what is it? Is it a secret? Come on, tell me. Like I said, no one reads Dark Times, so your word is safe. That is extremely depressing, Squiggle. You may be hunting down the last great treasure of the valley. Come on, McCaffrey. I swear, you're like a pug normally, then become a dank bloodhound when you smell a story. McCaffrey! Alright, alright, calm down. I'm taking a stab at the Feast of Four Cities. That's never good. What did you say, Scrapper? He said he's going after the feast. Get that scum out of here! 
Whoa, let's just relax. You heard him. Get lost, Scrapper. You're going to listen to a drunk? That drunk is our mayor. <sighs> of course he is. Get out! Doom follows anybody who seeks the feast. What the heck does that I don't repeat myself, Scrapper. All right, I'm going. Out in the open after dark. Not a good position to be in. What did they mean by doom, Jules? Every treasure these days has doom surrounding it. I wouldn't worry. But what if it's true? Doom could be anything. Fuglies, bots, marauders. Whatever it is, I've dealt with it. So, we should be fine. Should be, he says. What was that? Nothing. That's our cue to find some shelter. What about that big building over there? Uh, no. Libraries and I don't have a good history. <laughs> think they're with Gregor? I don't think so. Yeah, me too. Library it is. Is it okay to talk now? Yeah, there's nothing here. What is a library anyway? It was where the people of the world before used to come and rent stories. Like books? Yeah, just without the paper. That doesn't make any sense. Well, they did have audiobooks and films, but now libraries are only good for our... Ha ha ha! The lost and found! I thought you were going to say it was all these computers. Oh no, the components and those things are fried. But the lost and found can be a gold mine if you... Aftermath New Angeles Ultimate Edition, and the disc, unscratched! Oh, this game was a classic! A game? How do you play? The NCD3. Hardware as dead as those computers, but there's still collectors and game archivists who would trade top for this. You're all sweaty. Phone, phone, did you watch? Plenty of airplanes for picking locks. What about this little sparkly bag? Good eye, little buddy. Purses are often full of... Pharmaceuticals. Like Rush? Painkillers, muscle relaxers, the kind of thing I can use if need be. I stay away from drugs, both in trade and practice. That's a weird looking pen. Pen? Uh, oh my, uh, <laughs> it's a good find. Uh, let me just put it away. But why? You know, Quinn, a good scrapper needs a good satchel, and I think when I adjust this strap, this purse is a perfect fit for you. Really? That's right, and whatever you collect, I can trade for anything you want. Maybe some kibble, carrots... Goggles? Goggles? Yeah, goggles! Like yours! You want your own? The sun and the dust hurt my eyes sometimes. And I think they look cool. They are pretty cool. <clears throat> but I don't know if they have ones your size. Oh, okay. But, uh, if we get enough good scrap, we could commission someone to make a pair for you. Really? Absolutely. Now, it's getting late, so let's just pack it in for today. And look, I got some of that newspaper you love so much. I can't believe it. Ah! Uh, squiggle? Your rabbit, it can talk. Uh, no, it, it must be the bad rush you took. My body is a temple, my little friend. How long have you been there, Squiggle? You said it yourself, McCaffrey. I'm a bloodhound when I smell a story, and then the moment you said you traded Carolone wine for a rabbit, I knew there must have been something special about him. And I was right. How is it possible? Are you a mutant? A, a, a fugly? Maybe an experiment? Did someone create you like a scientist? Like a Frankenstein situation? Please tell me. Please tell me, friend, little friends. Please tell me. Please. Shh. You're in a library. You were followed. Who, who are you? Look at his neck, Squiggle. It's it's okay. It's all right, McCaffrey. There's o only two of them. No, there's not. <laughs> Perceptive as always, McCaffrey. John, long time no see. <laughs> as terror grips the heart of our dear protagonist, his allies tremble before the assembled adversaries. Who are the sons of Samhain, and who is their leader who makes jewels so fearful? 
There's only one way to find out. Subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next gripping episode of The Dark Lands of the World Before!